Museum. I am the docent Kiki. Today, let's talk about earthquake warning. What is the principle of earthquake warning? When the earthquake strikes, earthquake station near the epic center captures the initial seismic wave information. Then, earthquake warning center immediately estimates seismic parameters and influence intensity and sends an alert to the earthquake region before the destructive seismic waves arrive so as to remind residents to take urgent measures and alleviate disaster losses. When the earthquake strikes, there are two main types of seismic waves, longitudinal wave and transverse wave. Longitudinal wave has faster propagation speed while causing less damage. Transverse wave has slower propagation speed while causing more damage. When an earthquake warning system detects the arrival of the longitudinal wave, it will send an alert before the arrival of the more destructive transverse wave. There exist blind zones for earthquake warning near the earthquake epic center. In general, the effective range of an earthquake warning is about 50 to 200 kilometers from as a result, it's difficult for the people to respond, even if an alert is sent for areas within 50 kilometers from the epic center. While for areas 200 kilometers away from the epic center, as the damage caused by the earthquake may not be serious, an alert is not required. Earthquake warning messages can be communicated through radio, television, mobile phones, and other media. Once receiving an earthquake warning message, if you are on a second or higher floor, remember the tips of lie prostrate, cover up, and hold firm, and protect yourself by fire. If you are on the first floor or stay outside, immediately run to an open and safe area. Once receiving an earthquake warning message, the bullet train will make an emergency break immediately in order to stay safe. Nuclear power plants will shut down immediately as well. Next, let's reinforce your knowledge on earthquake warning through racing games of earthquake warning system and seismic wave.
Sorry, I am late. Now, do you know the principle of earthquake warning? The earthquake strikes. Evacuate to the open and safe area immediately. pack with a towel and put it on the sprained ankle to reduce the swelling and pain. Drag the bandage to fix the wound with the figure of eight bandage method. Elevate the injured foot to help with ankle recovery. exercise after the sprain, otherwise it will affect the ankle recovery. Okay, thank you, Kiki. You're welcome. How should we perform first aid for finger bleeding? Let's review. One, apply pressure to stop bleeding. Two, wrap the wound. First aid for sprained ankle. One, Put ice pack on the sprained ankle. Two, wrap the wound with figure of eight bandage method. Three, elevate sprained ankle and do not exercise.
you need to go to the nearby hospital for further treatment. Thank you very much, Kiki. You're welcome. <laughs> How should we perform first aid for head injury? Let's review. One, apply pressure to stop bleeding. Two, wrap the wound with a triangle towel. First aid for closed fracture. One, fill with soft cloth. Two, secure with a splint. Three, wrap with a bandage. Four, suspend with a triangle towel. Let's search for the injured in need of help. When the earthquake struck, I fell down the stairs and can't move now. Don't move. I'll get medical help. We are professional doctors. You can leave the injured to us. For someone with spinal injuries, Improper move or handling of the injured can be very dangerous and may exacerbate spinal injury. You must ask professional medical staff for help. First, transfer the injured to a long ridge board by using the whole body turnover method. Drag the fixing strap to secure the injured. We'll send you to a nearby... Okay, thank you. should we perform first aid for spinal injury? Let's review. One, do not touch the injured. Ask doctors for help. Two, elevate the injured by the whole body turnover method. Three, fix the injured. Four, send the injured to the hospital. <laughs> 